Okay. Hey guys, hey, this is Nay. Follow me on IG, Periscope, Twitter, Spreaker, and support me on Patreon and Nay Rob on YouTube. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, comment respectfully, and subscribe. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to let you all hear something first, and then we'll have the discussion later. Um, it it moved me to want to talk about it because it rubbed me the wrong way. Okay, but let's do this. Where is it the situation with the whole T.I. Tiny thing? Um, ain't no T.I. Ain't no Tiny's around me. I, um, I've never. I didn't ever think. Um, never been with her. Mm-hmm. This is a rumor that got out of control. Just... I, I've never been with her. Mm -hmm. Never tried to be with her. Mm -hmm. um, she's always been nothing but a, a cool person that I knew. I knew her before he knew her. Mm -hmm. um, uh, did she ever like me? I believe so. But um, she was married, and I respected that. But she liked me before she even got married to him, before they even had a child. Mm -hmm. She used to like me. She used to like me when she was with Escape. Remember, I'm... I'm I'm older than T.I. Yeah. So, remember, I was, I've was i been, had a 21-year run. Yeah. And it's still going. Um, um, Since the last time. I want them to, I want them to, you know, stay together. Was that frustrating, that rumor? Because, like, no one, it's frustrating when you know you haven't done something with someone and people want to just force that square peg in the I, round hole. I, I, never done, I, never, I, I never done nothing with her. I mean, I, I never tried to mess with her. Mm -hmm. She cool. She a real cool person, yes. though. Real down to earth. And like even like if we danced at uh, Mariah party, we just uh, just dancing. I danced with Mariah. I danced with uh, different people at that party, but they never showed that. Yeah. You know, you know they only put out there what they want to put out there. A lot of people were criticizing that dance and saying that that's what broke up their marriage. What do you say about that? I don't really know what broke up their marriage. I thought they still was married. Mm -hmm. I think they should stay married. I think um, I'm happy that she she's getting her career back going with Escape, and um, I think he's still making music, and they should make music together. Mm. You know, I mean, I'm surprised throughout the years they never made a song together. Mm. I mean, this is my honest opinion. I'm not upset with him. I think you know, like I said before, I don't know what it is. Motherfuckers be upset with me, <laughs> but you know, like I said before, yeah. like I'm always like I always say. I'm not going to disrespect nobody and nobody's going to disrespect me at the end of the day. I'm, I'm okay. Let's uh, address this first. Is that Claudia Jordan? You know, I like her. She's a little overzealous and a little defensive because one time I had made a comment about something. I forgot it was. And you know, Claudia Jordan got in the, uh, in the comments and called me a bitch. I said, wait a minute, girl, I like you back up. Back up, I know you used to, you know, coming for people or people coming for you because, you know, on that season of Real Housewives of Atlanta, you did look like you was using the 1982 hot curlers to curl your hair. You had a full roll. You had a full roll, girl, in your head like you, used, you was using them old school sponge rollers now and that you was shopping at the Burlington Coat Factory, that's what it looked like you was doing. But I digress, I digress. But anyway, I think he made a very valid point when he said, I don't understand why they didn't make music together. He right. Why wouldn't they make music together? I mean, they could be the new Peaches and Herb. Y'all remember Peaches and Herb? You know, reunited and it feels so good. Reunited and something, is this what it is? Well, anyway, let me get back on track. It's nighttime, y'all, and I'm ready for bed, so I'm a little off of it. But that was a very valid point. But about but the conversation that uh, what about the conversation that rubbed me the wrong way was this: Why he had to say she Ben was liking him? Why she had to do all that? He is so friggin' arrogant. He gets on my nerves. Okay, now granted. He is a Pisces. She's a Cancer. I can see what the attraction is between the two because, you know, the Pisces is the dreamer. Hence what I'm going to say. In his mind, he probably do really believe that she liked him the entire time before, you know, according to him that, you know, Tiny liked him 
way, way back in the day. And for real, she probably was just being friendly with him the same way she would be friendly with anybody else. But in his mind, he Floyd Mayweather. So everybody like him because, you know, Floyd Mayweather collects collects women. That's what he does. He collects women. And I'm saying to myself, how dare he put it out there like, you know, oh, she liked me. I'm like, Joe, how would he like it if one of his women, if somebody went up to one of his women and was like, oh, you know, he used to like me, right? That wouldn't feel, that, that, would, that wouldn't feel good. That wouldn't feel good to nobody for somebody to say on a public forum, oh, she was feeling me before she even got with him. So that makes it look like T.I. got his leftovers like I ain't want her so you can have her. Why would he say that? Like, uh, that was just so just just uncouth to me. Like, why did he even have to go there? And for real, that was a dig. That And, and I see why T.I. don't like him. And Tiny, why do you even like him, girl? Leave him alone. If he talk like that about you, matter of fact, leave him alone. Because remember when um, T.I. rolled up on... Um, Tiny and Floyd Mayweather at the Fat Burger or the Round Burger or the Down Burger, whatever it was, some hamburger joint. And he was like, check your bitch, check your bitch. I don't even know why she even talked to him after that. Like, I'd have been like, oh, I'm a bitch. I, I'm, I'm, that's how you feel about me? I'm your bitch. And then why after this right here, when he just basically going to make it seem like, oh, shit. She wasn't good enough to be with me or she wasn't good enough to be my girl. So, you know, T.I. had her. Psh, I don't want a T.I. You got what I don't want. Tiny, please don't mess with him no more. Or please don't, don't, don't like him. Please don't like him. He's not, he's not cool. You know, the same way I feel about Janet and Jermaine. Please don't like him. You know, now I know that they had their problems going on. I don't know what's going on. Y'all know I done made several videos about that T.I. and them tinies. You know, several, several videos about it. But um, she need to leave that ninja alone. Don't even talk to him. Don't say nothing to him. Next time he say something to you, just grit on him. And let me know if y'all know what the word grit mean. Because down here in the DMV, when somebody, you know run up on you and you ain't feeling them, you get them that stank eye and just be like, and you give them that grit. G-R-I-T, just grit on them. Like, ninja, please. Okay, and the final thing I want to talk about is I am so disappointed in black folk right now when it comes down to the Soul Train Music Awards. Y'all know, originally, Soul Train was the only platform that would showcase us do these stars know this? And I don't care how small or how minute Soul Train Music Awards is in comparison to the Grammys or the American Music Awards. It deserves respect. And for it to be just uh the way that these artists treat us, like it's not good enough for me to appear there, even though Erica Badu is the host of it. Who doesn't love Ibadu? Who do, who wouldn't show up for her? All the stars that stay on her IG, posting, you know, supporting her, you know, when she be having little funny things, all the stars, they be liking her posting stuff. Why you don't show up for her? When she's doing her Soul Train Music Award. That's her show. She's one of the executive producers on the show. You know? I mean, who was it? I think they gave an award to Bruno Mars. He wasn't there. Um, I forgot. It was a couple of people, you know? It's an overall grand production. And it they brought it back to life. It was SWV there. It was a couple of people there. You know? It showcased a lot of 90s music. I don't, I, I'm ashamed of the black entertainers nowadays. Now, half these hip hop artists, I don't want them on Soul Train Music Awards, period, anyway, because, you know, they'll turn around and turn it into a fashion show or whatever. But I, I'm very disappointed in how these artists are not showing up for the Soul Train Music Awards. And if it was not for that platform, they would not be here 
now. And that's all I got to say about that. Okay, guys, remember this. The same people you meet on the way up are the same people you meet on the way down. Naysayers, my patron loves. Have a good one. Good night.